this my friends is a handheld gimbal what is a gimbal you ask well A gimbal is a motorized device, usually has three axes, can have two. And what it does, it, it helps you control your camera or your phone, either way. This one can actually do GoPro, but you need an adapter to hold it into place. Now, most of these come with usually three settings one is a uh, pan and tilt follow mode so basically what it does is it stabilizes and makes your uh, camera much more smooth in its actions in general now if I put it into just the pan following mode which I can do on the screen but I'm not using it right now but I'm going to do it using the switch here. I'll show you the screen mode after. So if I go to the other one, this time it keeps the camera straight, but still smooths out the side-to-side -side action. So if I turn it sideways, you will see that it keeps everything straight. And the last mode which is full lock basically simply keeps your camera straight no matter what position you put it in within a certain uh, radius of course but if it goes off you can always adjust it with the controls so generally it will keep your camera nice and straight so let's turn it sideways You gotta be careful with the controls. So now, if I go like this, it still does that, but it also does it in this axis as well. Now, in order to show you the other functions, I need to exit the GoPro app. And go into the Gimbal Pro app. Now the app loads only in a uh, vertical direction, but you can once once you enter the camera, it goes into the horizontal. When you first get it, you have to install the uh, the application onto your phone, which you can get on the Play Store let's put this on video now you see here that you have the same functions that I uh, talked about before the follow all follow horizontal and lock all now right now as you remember I left it in lock all so that's where it stayed so again in lock all it's pretty much stays the way it is Okay, you see it switched. I press the button on the controller itself. It switched to follow all. So now it basically smooths your motion in all directions. And if I put it in follow horizontal, it keeps the camera straight, but on the horizontal, it smooths your actions again. So now let's put it on follow all and switch the camera around so you guys can see me there we go now you guys can see me let me push this back a little bit turn on the facial lock
There you go. Now it found my face and it's tracking it. So if I go this way and down. So that's pretty cool. So let's try to go down a little bit farther. And there you go. So that's really cool actually. Now I use this unit uh, last weekend to film some uh, RC trailing in the snow and for the most part it did a good job except when I tried to do the slow motion. In the slow motion mode uh, what happens was is it records it seems to record like a certain amount of time uh, which I believe is around uh, 30 frames and then there's a section where it's just still and it starts up again so if you're filming for let's say I don't know two three minutes you have a bunch of still images in between uh, while it's working it does what it's supposed to do it also is very annoying to edit afterwards so I'm going to post the link to the video I did last weekend so you guys can have a look at that if you haven't already. And uh, you, you can get to see what exactly and how well it did. As of this video, it is currently on special for about $85 Canadian uh, instead of like $250 or something like that. In the lineup of this particular uh, handheld gimbal, there's four models. There's the JXR S2, the S3, S4, and S5. The S2 and S4 have 1800 million batteries, and the S3 and S5 have 4400 million batteries. More than twice the battery as the other two models would have. Uh, this basically gives you either four hours of life or 12 hours of life and that depends obviously if you're you, you're charging your phone with it or not uh, but just in use itself uh, you see I've used this unit last weekend and I'm using it now I've used it a little bit to practice and play around with it a little bit and the battery is still uh, somewhere around the uh, three-quarter mark give or take only the uh, S5 has the focus keys and the shutter keys which means on the controller itself I can press a button and turn on the shutter and this and that and take pictures or start the video which is pretty pretty cool you know you don't have to go up and touch the screen and play with it if you will uh, all of them can take a smartphone up to six inches or a GoPro now to use a GoPro you have to use an adapter uh, which means it's basically the same shape as a phone and what it does is it holds the camera over here in this section. There are other modes we can look at. So you have basically just a take video. You have the slow motion here, uh, time lapse, and M time lapse, which I'm not exactly sure what it is. Uh, let me go check the manual quickly right here and see what the M time lapse is. Nope, the instructions actually don't say anything about the M time lapse. So let's have a look at what it does. Alright, so let's bring this a bit closer. Click on the thumbnail to add an attraction. Advanced settings. 5 4. So let's keep that the way it is. Oh, I think it's a motion time lapse. Here, motion. Okay, so let's go over there. Click there. Click there. there I see how it works now click there 
and that would be it. Let's see what happens again. Uh, rotation speed. Ten. Let's try these settings. Generated video time four seconds. Okay, let's start. There it goes. Okay, so it's going a lot slower than it did before. going back and going up at the same time. And back to the last position. And it's done. Let's go back over here. See what the result is. Again, it's still a four second video. So, if perhaps you wanted to do like I do, I do a lot of assembly videos. Let's go back here. I do a lot of assembly videos for uh, RC cars and I could actually set this up somewhere uh, on my desk, uh, maybe a bit higher facing down, and have it moving as I assemble whatever. And uh, that would be pretty cool. Uh, you see a lot of those types of videos with the motion and then the time lapse goes up. And it's like you can see the, the, the side to side motion is really, really slow but the activity is actually quite fast, which is what we just saw. So that would be pretty cool, actually. I might try that uh, soon. So all in all, I really like this little unit. It works quite well. Uh, it's really not that expensive. There are obviously some really, really expensive units out there, uh, but there are a lot more of these uh, entry-level units uh, coming out uh, if you look at banggood.com, you're going to see a crap load of them. And uh, I actually had a hard time choosing which one to take. And first of all, I didn't really know anything about uh, gim handheld gimbals. I mean, I have a gimbal that I had set up on a drone, but it didn't really work really well. And uh, I was wondering how well this would work, considering it's not a high-end unit like that particular uh, drone gimbal was as well so all in all I'd say this is a pretty good product for the money so as you can see the face tracking actually works quite well it's actually fairly quick too this is a lot of fun actually you can see it from the other side, tracking. And even if I get up, this way, That is very cool. So, what are you waiting for? Go get yourself one.